Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. Uh, I'm starting a little bit early today, I'll explain that in just a second. It's 3.18 p.m., I guess June 1st, I should know that. 2022, what you gonna do, brother? Uh, it's a Wednesday. Normally, right now, Mary would be home, but she's got a coworker on vacation this week, so she's in the office all this week. And apparently her coworker picked a good or bad time to take vacation, depending on which side you're on. Mary's getting swamped, so. Anyways, uh, we're gonna keep, we are gonna cook something cool today, something I've wanted to make for a long time. We're also gonna make a fun cocktail to get to that, which is, uh, but it's also fairly easy. And we have some reviews and uh, talk about some games, stuff like that. Oh, if you're new here, there's links in the description below. You see all those blue numbers, it's time code links. You can jump around the blog, jump to the parts you like, skip the parts you don't, or come back and forth, whatever you wanna do. Um, so yeah, <laughs> of course we'll talk about all kinds of stuff and more, but <clears throat> first I have to start making an ingredient for a drink we're gonna do tonight because we're gonna make a Star Wars drink tonight and it requires me making a ginger simple syrup, which I've never done before. So the only real veggie prep work we have to do, I have to do now, which is peel and slice some ginger. So we're gonna get to that, but uh, I'll tell you about it in a minute. And um, as far as cooking, uh, since it was, you know, we had the big old cookout, which went well, I'll try to show you some of the leftover foods we made. We made a lot, we'll talk all about that. Uh, we have a lot of hot dogs left over that were grilled. So we're gonna make some, we're gonna put together some hot dogs tonight. We're gonna try making our own hot dog chili for the first time, or at least our very first attempt at it. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna sneeze. No, I think I got it. Okay, uh, let's, let's deal with the ginger. So uh, with Obi-Wan and Star Wars being so freaking awesome, uh, we're doing those reviews on the pay side, the $1.99 tier if you're interested. Um, I'm gonna start making some stuff out of this book on occasion. Uh, I was gonna do some food, but I don't have time, so we're gonna at least do a cocktail. And like I said, we gotta do an infused syrup. So uh, I think it's called the Dagobah Slug Slinger on page 147. And of course, we're gonna make the cocktail later, but this is gonna take about five hours of infusion. So uh, yeah, the Dagobah Slug Slinger, which is half an ounce of lime juice, two ounces of orange juice, an ounce of Dagobah Slug Syrup, which is what we're gonna make, teaspoon of blue carousel, two ounces of, uh, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of blue carousel, two ounces of tequila, one ounce of water, an uh, ounce of water, and a sprig of rosemary for garnishing. I'm still having my coffee. I've shaved, but I haven't showered yet, just FYI. Uh, so let's jump over to page 33 to learn how to make the Dagobah Slug Syrup, which is just simple syrup with a little bit of a ginger and rosemary infusion. So yeah, this is gonna be one cup of sugar and one cup of water. You boil that, that's pretty much simple syrup. But one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and then we're gonna do four ounces of fresh ginger, peeled and sliced a quarter inch thick, and one three inch sprig of rosemary. Uh, we're gonna do that over medium heat in a saucepan, bring the sugar and water to a boil, add the ginger and rosemary, return to a boil, stirring to dissolve the sugar, remove from the heat and let rest to infuse for at least five hours until very strong, strain into a, strain into a clean bottle, refrigerate, we're ready to use. So we gotta get this ginger going and get this simple syrup going. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have started sooner. I'm gonna make this drink fairly late. I got my uh, scale out for measuring here. And uh, peeler, knife, all that. I'm gonna take my ring off. And I got about, what is this, how big was this? I got about half a pound of ginger root. Uh, I got tired of getting pieces that were just shy of what I needed, so I went and grabbed a big piece. Um, so we're just gonna kind of start taking some pieces apart here so we can uh, work with this a little bit easier. You know, kind of get a rough idea of when we're at. Got uh, four ounces. All right, I'm gonna use this bowl. Zero that bowl out. And what we'll do is we'll actually make sure we have a little more than four ounces. Because obviously some of the peel is gonna take off. That's three and three eighths, that is pretty close. Let me uh, get in there. Hmm, smells good. That's four and a half. Let me take this little puppy out. That's three and seven eighths. We'll go with that four and a half. We'll start there. You get a bag to put that in. Uh, do, 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 do. We've got other things to do with ginger later, so. <laughs> ginger and Mary. Because <laughs> Mary and Ginger and Mary Ann. And it's early, what do you want from me? All right. <laughs> 
and take all this back out. Wait, just got a couple of grainy bits gotten there. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and work some of this down just to where it's gonna be easier to peel and such. Mm-hmm, yeah, work with that. And take this part off. All right. Again, just kind of clean off here. And we're gonna do a trick for easy cleanup, or easier cleanup, theoretically. Paper towels. Is that all of it? That's all of it. There we go. All right. I did have a zesting accident when cooking for the holidays, so I'm maybe a little bit more sketchy. No. Um. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a little more cautious as I deal with this, even though this is a, this would cause more damage probably than the zester. But I do want to kind of make quick work of this, and of course this is why we pulled off a lot of extra. We may still have to add a little more before we're done too. Yeah, it's just gonna take some time and effort and doing that with the knife right there is a bad idea. <laughs> and as a reminder, I'm sure there are probably better ways to do this. I don't, I'm not at all considering myself any kind of professional. I'm just cooking because I want to learn how to do all these things. And you get better at doing things the more you do it. So just keep that in mind. And if you do have better ways of uh, peeling ginger, by all means, tell me, because I do like ginger and there's a lot of things I want to do with it, but I avoid it because peeling it is such a pain in the tuchus. Like, how do I get into that crevasse? I mean, I have to pretty much slice into this thing. God, this is just like one piece we've done too. This is, hi uh... <laughs> Yeah, I should have started this much earlier. There's like a piece, yay. <laughs> and of course, it's still early, so my talky comedy brain is still kicking in. But uh, yeah, I will tell you our cookout went over really well and I got some fun stuff to tell you about it. And we still have a lot of the stuff I made, we have leftovers, so. And I think I solved an issue I've had the last couple of years with the beer cheese I made, but we'll get to that. We'll make that a segment. So I shouldn't talk about all that too much here. And uh, it was fun. We had some people over that hadn't actually been here yet and I didn't do much cooking during the thing, so I actually did get to socialize. Good, at least the bigger pieces. Probably should have just focused on the bigger pieces. Is that the trick? You just actually just work the bigger pieces more than anything else? <laughs> And again, if you're new here, we kind of do it this way because some people, it's just kind of zen for them to hang out with me while I cook stuff the full way without cutting into it. 
And uh, my little easier cleanup trick is actually becoming a problem with this ginger here. And that way also, if you are the kind so inclined, you can always kind of check out what I'm doing and then grab the ingredients and cook along with me roughly in real time. Hey. Yeah, we may just need to get another piece to come work with since I'm kind of taking off big chunks of the actual ginger, but it's also why I bought more than I than it was required because I have dealt with this before a little bit. Same thing when dealing with like horseradish root. If you're gonna make your own prepared horseradish, which is awesome. It's way more potent than the jarred stuff. It's got a bad spot on that one. All right, no trouble with this. Let's get in there though. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see, what do I wanna do here? Let's see if I can make my life a little bit easier. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm tempted just to get back in there and just grab some bigger chunks since this is actually going much faster with the bigger chunks. Yeah, sorry, I'm also kind of trying to think about things here as we're doing this, about if there's ways for me to do some of this a little easier. Because like I said, I think my paper towel trick, which normally works if I'm healing potatoes or something like that, carrots, cucumbers, it seems to be a bit kind of in the way, honestly. Stuff. I can't tell if I'm just picking up stuff back on here or if it still needs peeling in some spots. But again, this one's not for eating, this is for infusing. So it doesn't, this one shouldn't have to be perfect necessarily. I'm gonna grab an extra paper towel and make my life a little bit easier here. Also, this way I can kind of towel this off and see what I'm doing here. There's a spot or two. Might want to rinse my peeler a bit too. Alright, then I'm going to put the done ones over here. See if we can kind of gently give this a bit of a... There we go. Alright, I'm back at it. But like I said, this is the only vegetable prep we have to do today. Everything else is just kind of blending seasons and spices, so seasonings and spices. It does smell really good though. Makes me just want to eat some. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna need to clean up the paper towels here and 
go a little different because it's becoming a real problem now. Okay. Oops. A couple little spots here. There we go. Got those. I mean, we're, we're close. It's not quite. Ugh. All right, let me set these out of the way. And let's go ahead and dis discard a bunch of this. We'll do the rest on the actual board here. Eh, maybe not, actually, because I do kind of want to clean up quickly and easily. All right. This is just not going that smoothly. Okay. Good thing I put music tracks in here. <laughs> okay, these seem a little bit more straight, so it might be a little bit easier to peel. Not so many gaps. Alright. Be one with the force. We're going to make a wonderful cocktail. I hope it's a wonderful cocktail because I'm going to have plenty of this simple syrup to work with. Of course, I'm sure there's always some other cocktails out there. Feel free to comment if you have ideas that are. Uh, Involve ginger simple syrup. Throw me your recipes and maybe I'll try them on the show. You never know. I'll try them. Just saying I might even try them on the show. <laughs> and we're about to remeasure this and see how much we've got. So I am kind of glad I pulled out some extra. I don't know if I pulled out enough extra. We probably will have to do a little bit more cleaning, but this is the last piece that I had prepared to work with here. Oh, then uh, as far as my zester incident, I just barely caught a knuckle and it was literally like I had two things left to do. I had to zest a lime and juice a lime. And I had been literally cooking for like two days straight and didn't cut or hurt myself at all. So I was like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> right at the end. It's got a little bit of a Almost like a, an eye in there. I wonder if I can get it with the potato eye thing. Okay. All right, let's uh, re-measure. And hope we got real lucky. And then we just gotta slice it. That part's easy. Drink some of that coffee while I still can before it gets too cold. Zero that out. Boom, boom. It's two ounces. Two, seven, eight. There's three. Three and three eighths. Damn it. So close. All right, a little bit more then. Need about a little over half an ounce. Let's see. Which part am I going to want? Probably this guy right there. We was so close, y'all. All 
Alright. Oh, yep. Yeah. Don't want to put the knife where I might slice myself. So much peel. Ooh, that would have been sucky if I lost all that to the floor and had to do the work over again. Almost got it. I think we got it, but I think it just picked up some bits and pieces. All right, moment of truth. Ah, three and seven eighths. Here, let's see if we can get this puppy done here. Pieces are definitely easier than the tinies. But we almost got them. little spot here. Hey, four ounces, we got it, all right. Whew. All right, so the hardest part is over. Everything else should go pretty quickly now. Theoretically. <laughs> things here so I don't know I'm not the best gauge of, of uh, size there are definitely penis size jokes to be made here too so okay. I'm gonna say those are probably about quarter inch chunks Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes my knife skills is good, sometimes not. There are things I'm more comfortable working with because I've worked with them a lot more. Like I can take an onion down pretty quickly, like a good pro. But when things are uneven like this, it can be a little tricky. So I'm gonna go easy on that. There we go. But that also too, it's like, you know, you should have seen when I started out how overly cautious I was with my knife work. So that'll, that's just a thing that happens. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get with it, the more comfortable you're gonna get with it. Then again, I can like jalapenos, onions, things like that. I can take them down in a heartbeat, but things I rarely work with, I'm always a little more nervous about. Uh, 
All right. No, get off there. I don't want to put that in there. All right, that's probably actually already a quarter inch chunk, but I'm gonna split it. Same with this bad boy. And you. All right. to make the actual simple syrup. I think I'll go on stick on this. I do have a, yeah, I got a plastic whisk. Okay. Uh, let's see, so let's go up to six cups. I think we're only making about two cups, right? 33, one cup of sugar, one cup of water. Yeah, approximately, all right. Sugar. Da, 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 da. Oh, shit. Crap. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright. Just give it a little shake so it flattens out in the cup. Oops. I know it spilled a little in there, but that's probably good. This does need to be fairly accurate. Cup of water. You know how I do like to quadruple check the recipes when I've never done something before. Okay. Small saucepan, medium heat. Sugar and water don't boil, medium heat. I put my sugar away. I'm gonna let that boil. I know we don't stir it yet. Let me go ahead and grab my rosemary, even though apparently we have fresh rosemary in the garden, but I did not know that. So I bought some. Have this ready on standby here. Okay, so we just need to bring that to a boil. And we're gonna add all the ginger and the ro rosemary, bring to a boil while we stir to dissolve the sugar. And once the sugar is dissolved, we're gonna remove it from the heat and re let it rest for five hours. We'll probably transfer it to something once it cools down too. But so now we just wait and drink some coffee. I mean, it's almost, okay, it's 3.53 p.m. Uh, I think um, our hot dog chili is what we're gonna make. I think I mentioned that. And then I'm gonna dress up a few, two or three hot dogs. Obviously, we're gonna try the chili and do a coney dog. But I got a couple other concoctions I'd like to show you since while well, I have the stuff and a need to eat through a bunch of hot dogs. <laughs> um, so, you know, we'll get to that, but that should, I'm imagining, I know the cooking of the chili is about half an hour, and I think a lot of that will be unattended, so the cooking section shouldn't be too long. Honestly, peeling that ginger is probably going to be longer than making the hot dog chili. Make sure I'm over the heat correctly. I got one more cup of coffee. After that, I'll go, you know, use the bathroom, and then I take my shower portion of everything. You know, brush my teeth and shower. And that's usually when I start working on this. The nice thing is, I do have games to play today. Mary and I need to film our Throwdown Thursday. We were gonna yesterday, and we ended up accidentally going to dinner, which was a whole awesome thing. Um, <clears throat> and then we came and watched some Stranger Things, but which we're also reviewing on the $1.99 pay side of the memberships, if you're interested. Full spoiler uh, reviews every of each episode. They come out a little bit late, though. Like, I, I'm releasing my first Obi-Wan episode today. We just, you know, honestly, we just, the, the holiday weekend really overtook everything. <laughs> and so we're still kind of playing catch up. But yeah. I see it's starting to, uh, 
bubble slightly in there. I'm gonna get my whisk out. Be ready to dissolve that sugar. Plus our trash day, dish day. But if I can get everything done I want today. Oh, what I was getting at was it's nice that I don't have a 30 hour let's play I need to do or a 20 hour let's play. So it's gonna be nice having a break from that. There are gonna be trailers still, but you know, I'm just still kind of playing catch up with that and I got some plans for that. And in case I don't get around to answering it on other places I know I've been asked. But yeah, it'll be up. It won't just be like the big Star Wars and Marvel trailers. I will do some more indie and horror trailers. I just haven't gotten back to the system of that yet. We can talk more about all that in a different section. That's just about what I would call a nice boil. All right, I'm gonna call that a boil. So let's go ahead and uh, start putting in our ginger. And a three inch sprig of rosemary, sure. And stir it up, get this dissolved. Oh man, that already smells really, Really tasty. I think we just about got it dissolved. See a little bit of a cloudy in there. Oops. Get that rosemary submerged. Yeah, okay. We're gonna let that uh, come back to a boil, take it off the heat, and that's pretty much it. I'll transfer it to a, I'm supposed to transfer it to a glass bottle. I, don't, I guess I'll use a mason jar. I don't really have glass bottles <laughs> yet. Oh, uh, I wonder if I should put it in a bigger one than that. Cause that's really gonna be, that's a pint, right? So that's like 32 ounces. That's right, right? A pint's 30. Yeah, those are eight ounces. No, this is 16 ounces. Yeah, 16 ounces a pint, yeah. I do have 32 ounce ones, but. And I can see it's starting to come back to a boil already. Give that just a second. So yeah, so then I'm just gonna put it in a mason jar once it cools a little bit. Does it say to seal it? So we're in a clean bottle, huh? All right, that's, a, that's almost full boil. I just wanna see a little bit more in the center boil. Helps if I get it over the heat. Again, the grates on these stoves are not good for using to align centering. <laughs> and that is starting to look like a real boil. And yeah, I think I'll call that a boil. And just return to a boil. Is there stirring to dissolve the sugar? Let's give it one last little quick stir. Just to make sure. And that should be good. Also, feel free to tell me some of your simple syrup recipes, other infusions and stuff. So I'm just gonna let that sit there and cool and put it in a jar. I don't think you need to see that part of the process necessarily. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna call it here. I'm gonna finish my morning routine. We'll come back and get the rest of the actual cooking and all that stuff going. And uh, I'll see, you'll see it in a split second. I'll see you all in a bit, bye. All right, so we are going to make some hot dog chili. I found a random recipe online. I think it's like persnickety something. I, I, you know what, I got it right here. For snickety plates. So we're gonna try that. Um, this should be fairly easy. It's gonna take a little bit of work up front and then it's gonna have to simmer for a little while. This is a crock pot recipe that can be done stove top. That's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, it actually goes a little faster on the stove top and that way you don't have to dirty the whole crock pot. But also it is now 6.16 p.m. 
p.m. This is a uh, this is uh, turned out nicely so far. So it's been like two hours. I'm gonna let it sit out a little bit longer, and we're gonna get it in the fridge so it can chill by the time we're ready, about 9 p.m. ish, to make a drink. Um, all right, let's come down here. And let me show you what we're working with. So this is a pretty simple recipe, not a lot of ingredients. Again, I've never made it. Might be something we'll uh, change in the future, try other recipes. So we got a ground out, a, a, a pound of ground beef, a lean 90-10, so not too fatty. We need a third a cup of water, five ounces of tomato sauce. I got a 15 ounce thing, but I figured out how to measure that. Half a cup of ketchup, so we got our normal Heinz tomato ketchup in here. Um, teaspoon, one tablespoon, I'm sorry, of yellow mustard, one tablespoon of Worcestershire, uh, two teaspoons of chili powder, so I'm going with the regular, just basic chili powder for this, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, uh, <clears throat> half a teaspoon of sugar, and then half a teaspoon of onion powder, but, oh, I'm like pulling all this up to show you. Let me, let me show you again, because and then we got black pepper, salt, sugar, what's the sugar? I forgot I already moved the camera down. So just showing you what ingredients I'm working with in case you're trying to make exactly the same thing. Um, and then I went with Angus beef because I always like Angus a little better. But as far as the onion powder, I read it a little too late that uh, essentially you could also use minced onions, but I don't feel like mincing any onions, so I'm just gonna go with the onion powder as was planned. So we're gonna go ahead and get this pan up to medium heat. Let's get that going. I got my chopper for breaking up this meat. We're gonna try to get this meat real fine. And all we're gonna need up front is a third cup of water, I believe is what it said. And yeah, a pound of ground beef. So first we're gonna do medium skillet over medium heat. I could probably use a smaller one. Actually, yeah, yeah you know what, hold on. I should use a smaller skillet, actually, because that's not, now that I see this stuff together, you know, it's like we can definitely go a little smaller, take up a little less room in the dishwasher. I guess I could have left the heat on, I don't know why I turned the burner off. Well, see, now that looks too small. <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure it out. Hopefully we don't have to trade pans. Let me go ahead and get that meat open so we're ready to Plop that in there. And uh, Mary, I, I thought, I thought I'd get a little bit sooner start on this than I did, so Mary will be home soon, but I don't think she's necessarily waiting for me to do this, so. <clears throat> or maybe she is, I don't know. I fed the cats, so they'd be kind of chill. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this third cup of water so I can get that in pretty quick. once the time comes, so we don't burn the meat. As a matter of fact, I think I just heard Mary get home and I'm just now starting. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, almost there. These pans heat up fairly quickly. We'll plop the meat in, pour the water in, we'll start breaking it up. We wanna get it as fine as we can. I've seen people do this with a lot more water than that, so I don't know how that's gonna go. <clears throat> And then what are, what's, what's the step after that? No, oh, wait. All right, so we're gonna constantly break up the ground beef while it's cooking, you want it as fine as possible. So once, basically once the beef is browned, cooked, we're gonna drain off the water and grease, then we're gonna add all the other ingredients and leave it over medium heat, simmering for 20 to 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. That's all that's really to it. And then we're just gonna build some hot dogs. I may have to heat up a couple of things in the microwave from leftover ingredients. But I got three hot dog ideas I'm gonna do here, even though it's more than I should probably eat. Actually, I had four hot dog ideas. One was gonna be a joke, but because I'm already gonna eat three, I don't think that's a good plan. <laughs> that feels about right. So let's, yep, Mary's coming in the door. All right. There, you hear her flopping around out there. Woo! Start breaking up his meat. Hi, my dear. I had to use the bathroom, so I'm just getting started. <laughs> but I don't know that you were waiting on this, so. Oh, splash. Not necessarily. Did you have a good I know uh, 
Jack and Aaron did. Napoleon didn't really go to eat while I was waiting, and itty bit was iffy. <laughs> Somebody had jacked up Napoleon's feeder too, so. Oh. Just trying to break that up. Get it nice and small, smushy. I think we made the right choice switching uh, containers or pans. This is why they call this the chopper. I suppose if you feel you need a little more water in here, you could. Something about the water, I don't understand the science, but apparently the water is gonna help it really become a more fine ground meat. And we're just keeping it on medium heat. Start. It's not breaking up as easy as chorizo. I'm spoiled with my chorizo. <laughs> Tell you though, I was about ready for some more Cuban food. Or, um, uh, Peruvian. I mean, we had Peruvian food the first time yesterday. It was delightful. And it was an accident. Well, again, we'll talk about that later, because we got food talking. Oh, and then again, we'll talk about this later too, but Mary, I know you've had a busy day, so I know you, I'm not gonna fault you, because I know you haven't noticed. What? But did you notice that you got invited to a Google Sheet? Yes, I did, actually. Did you notice what it was? Yes, I did. They had a template for wedding planning, so I have started the guest list, officially started making the guest list. Woo! I did not have time to actually look at it. I just saw no. the notification on my phone saying, like, you can invite it to a spreadsheet. Yeah, dude, it, their, their template in there is awesome. Like, it has way more built and set up than we need from, like, budgeting to, to oh. guests and save the dates and, like, seat, yeah, I, seat I planning. Yeah, like, even seat planning and all of that. Like, everything is in there. To-do lists. Yeah, I know, right? Well, especially because I was like, easy template. However, I have found it's gonna be a lot easier to start filling out that guest list on a laptop. The phone, I'm just scrolling around all over the place like a crazy person. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think the phone is just when you're on the go and you're like, oh, I should put this in here before I forget this one detail. <laughs> well, it's like when, uh, for my, the, the bank thing I do in my game, we keep track of the various stats of other people's characters and it's like, I can do it on my phone while I play the game, but it's a bitch because it's a lot of back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I was running into, so. Again, the point here is we are trying to get this as finely ground as possible, so there's gonna be a lot of chopping. And I wonder how loud my hand fan is, because I'm getting warm. I got a new toy. Can we see it? Sort of. Is that full speed? Yep. That's one, that's two, that's three. <sighs> It kind of sounds like somebody meeting outside. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, have you told them about the cookout? Uh, we, no, I figured we'd have a segment about that and we could show off some of the food because some of the food's going to get involved in some of these hot dogs I'm going to make. I'm going to make myself three different hot dogs today just to kind of make this a little more interesting. Okay. Give them some topping ideas. I don't want to spoil it yet. Well, one of them is going to be the chili dog. Yes, that's my butt. Why did you suddenly say that? I don't know. Was that Aaron? <laughs> didn't know Aaron had opposable thumbs. Yeah, it, it's still kind of cooling, so I didn't want to put it in the fridge yet. It's, it'll be ready about nine. <laughs> so somewhere between Stranger Things or Obi-Wan or whatever we end up watching. Uh, I take it you watched Obi-Wan. Oh, hell yeah, I watched Obi-Wan. <laughs> And again, your pillow trick, best thing you ever taught me because <laughs> there was a lot of squeeing like a schoolgirl for sure. <laughs> and there goes my nice clean stuff. Yeah, I know. I've been trying, but this is just going to be sloppy. I've kept it clean for a few days. <laughs> oh God, there was so much cleaning last week. Yeah, I figure we'll have a whole segment telling them about, you know, that'll be something fun to put in here about the cookout, the good, the bad, the ugly. I've just been tempted to tell a lot of things already. I'm like, no, 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 wait and do a segment on it. It's getting there. But yeah, we want a real 
fine grind on this. I almost wonder if I should have gone with the potato masher instead of my chopper, but I think my chopper does better because the masher just mashes. I also have a uh, chopper. It's plastic, but it's got like a curve to it. So like, it's like sort of an S shape. Hmm. Do you get like in the grooves or something? I don't know. No, uh, you get it. I mean, this is working. This is working fine. I'm just curious more than anything. Hey, yeah, mama's home. Don't worry about this brown water. It's gonna all get drained off. I'm starting to have a good feeling about this. The meat, it's probably just because the meat itself smells good and I'm getting hungry. Yeah, we got a lot of food stories and uh, cookout stories we can share. I don't know if we've got any movie reviews this week, though. I don't think we saw any movies. We've been busy trying to catch up on the insane amount of television that dropped last weekend and getting ready for the insane amount of television dropping this weekend. I do know I'm excited that I will pretty much not have to work tomorrow unless we want to play some Throwdown Thursday, Mary and I, which is fine, because tomorrow, as has started been going on in the summer, we get food trucks at, uh, a bunch of Thursdays in our neighborhood, or like a food truck at a time or whatever. It's usually Go-Go Burger, which is fantastic, but Thursday we're getting a taco truck, and I am going there like 18 times. <laughs> we can give me a, some tacos, a torta. Maybe they'll do some straight up elote. a pretty good shop through here. It's a little squeezy squeezy. Yeah, it's gonna have a pretty good texture. Ay, ay, ay. Whew, at least it wasn't butter burn. But I definitely splattered some warm water on my finger. <laughs> uh, well, it's not downstairs. If it's not in the drawer here, then I think Kathy must have took it before we moved. Whoops. I don't know. <laughs> Silly kitties. Careful, I don't get you. Oh, sometimes. Here, 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 here. I got you. Here, you kind of have to twist it sometimes when it gets stuck. Kind of twist and pull. <laughs> That's what she said. Nope, nope, mine has gone Interesting. Well, like I said, I wasn't trying to use it. I was just curious what it is. This is just about brown. Just making sure I ain't got no more big old clumps in here. Now of course it's not gonna get a sear. And you're definitely gonna wanna do this in a stainless steel pan so you can use a nice metal implement for chopping. I mean, I guess you technically could do it in a nonstick, but I don't know what kind of tool you're gonna get that's gonna do you very good in the chopping department without, you know, since you don't use metal utensils in a nonstick pan, you don't wanna chop all that nonstick coating into your food. But it was a pretty great weekend. Alright. Just working it a little bit more. But I think it's pretty well broken up and it's pretty well browned. Oh, 
on that project, that video project is working on should be coming soon, but they've asked for one more style of output, you know, for various, uh, uh, platform releases. Looks like I've got a little bit of a bond happening on the edge of my pan here where some of the meat's browning up there, so woo! Should I get that off while it's still hot? Although I guess we are gonna do a lot more in the pan, so the tomato sauce should really work that. Okay. So I'm just kind of trying to get it into a position now where when I go to drain it, it doesn't all come flopping out on me. So let's do that. We're gonna leave the heat on. Run some cool water back here for the pan's sake. I'm gonna use this to kind of try and help drain it. And fingers crossed that I don't dump all the meat into the sink. Probably gonna lose a little bit. So far, so good. I probably should have moved the camera up so you could see. Be very careful. Good. Do this little squeezy, squeezy. Whoop. Better not shake it too much. I want to. Okay. I'd say that's pretty good. Can you see me over here? No, we'll do it up here. I'll just kind of... Yeah, I mean, there's a touch of it left, but that's fine. So we want to get our other ingredients in, then we'll get it on here, so... Where's my recipe? Let's start rocking this, shall we? It smells good. All right. Five ounces of tomato sauce. Well, let's see. Let's go... Yeah, five ounces of tomato sauce. So I did the math. Five ounces of tomato sauce is gonna be half a cup and then two tablespoons is gonna be the way we can get to five ounces since I couldn't find five ounce cans. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other 10 ounces. Maybe, I don't know, bake a cake? I know that makes no sense to anybody, but it made sense in my head. This half a cup is four ounces. Dump that in there. And then uh, two tablespoons. Let me get a different tablespoon. I'm gonna use that for seasoning. Tablespoon. Ooh, my dad just messaged me. It's probably like, what time are hot dogs? It's one tablespoon. Mm, a little over, but that's fine. Stay in the sink. All right. Uh, I gotta set my phone to be on a little longer. All right. Uh, five ounces. Okay, so half a cup of ketchup. So that's a half a cup. Let's just go ahead and. Yeah. I don't know why actually. I don't know. This, of course, we just buy the huge Heinz ketchup bottles, and then we just fill a squeeze bottle. Woo! Sounded like me after all the onions from the uh, Peruvian food. It's delicious, though. Yeah. That's about half a cup. Oy! Shit! I got the fucking open flame there. Didn't burn myself, but I felt that heat quick. <laughs> All right, there's the ketchup. Tablespoon of yellow mustard. No, tablespoon of yellow mustard. This is it. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Hey, <laughs> this works. I grabbed some wrong things. There we go, tablespoon, all right. Gotta remember to do this where you can watch it. A little bit more, I don't mind. I like a good mustardy flavor.
stop putting my hand over that open flame or I need to actually turn that open flame off. Uh, oh, I just threw it away. I just put it up. Is that my... Well, let's get a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Oh, I know why I had that out, okay. Just one. Splashed in a little extra, so we'll go a little light there. Two. All right, we're so sure. Two teaspoons of chili powder. So I did want this. That's why I had that out. This one can reach in here a little easier. After this, everything is half teaspoons, so okay. Got that. Two teaspoons, okay. Uh-oh. Do I have two teaspoons in here? Oh shit, I may have grabbed the wrong one. Uh, let's see, hold on. I thought I had two teaspoons, or table, yeah, te tablespoon. Two teaspoons of chili powder, whoops. Echo, how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? One tablespoon is three teaspoons. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It doesn't matter, this is a teaspoon. I'm not being an idiot. I did not grab the tablespoon. That's like half of one. Maybe a quarter. I think I, I think it might be a little shy, but that's pretty much what I had there. So real quick, uh, just to balance it out a little bit, we uh, we'll dash in a little chipotle chili powder just to kind of make up the difference. A little smokiness in there. Because that was so close. All right, what do we got? Chili powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. You're a half a teaspoon. Short and stout. Okay, got that. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Fuck, I forget how many grinds. I started doing this right where I was counting, so I would just know. And now I don't remember. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, three, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine, thirty, three, one, three, two, three, three, thirty, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, thirty, eight, thirty, nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one. I'm kind of remembering how this works. Hang on. <sighs> Two, three, four, five, six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, 
Just being very gentle initially so I don't slop it all over the stove. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this. And you know, if you do still see big old meat clumps, you can still probably grind some stuff down. You know what, actually, I'm gonna do that, hold on. It's gonna be a little bit easier for me to, yeah, there we go, much, much better. Stir everything together. Yeah, I would have liked to have got my meat down a little finer. I, I'm, when I, I'm, now granted, I think other recipes do that, and they probably why they use a lot more water in those. But I'd like to almost do one that has more of that Cincinnati chili consistency. Well, at some point I want to make Cincinnati chili, so I guess I'll learn that technique when I do that. This is actually smelling pretty freaking phenomenal. And actually, you know what? I think we're gonna stick with the spoon at this point. And just make sure I get everything well incorporated. And I'll just kind of let this simmer stirring occasionally. Echo, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. Probably gonna take the heat down some because that is gonna plop. Yeah, I'm going down to a medium low. So basically we're just gonna simmer to thicken up. I'm gonna work on cleaning up. Please don't explode on me. I was wondering if I should get a lid. Well, that won't really let the moisture escape. I guess I could do the cornered thing, tilt the pan out tilt the lid out. Cause I'm just worried that something's gonna go up there and be like Plop! and send like a pound of meat in the sky. Cause that's a pretty aggressive simmer right now. Let's try to keep our eyes on this. And I will of course do a better job cleaning up all this stuff in the sink. But right now I'm just trying to get us a little less congested over here. Did I actually use that half cup? Oh, no I didn't, that's right, because I got an extra half cup thinking I was gonna use two different half cups, perfect. Okay. All right, put some things away. There's not, pretty much gotta refill our ketchup. Ketsup, our cat soup. Oh no, it splattered in here, man. That's right. We're gonna hurt nothing. I'll deal with putting that away shortly. And let me get a clean paper towel. I mean, we have spoon rests, but I just do this because honestly, that way I don't keep dirtying up the spoon rests. <laughs> it depends on what I'm making if I'll use the spoon rest or not. But uh, yeah, I'll take the heat up just a hair maybe. Got a nice little simmer going. Put this away a little bit. And that's all we're really doing now. The rest is just waiting, so I'm not sure if I should, uh, you know, I don't know. My dad just finished the show, Outer Range. I was thinking about going back out to the garage and smoking another stogie. Because it is such a lovely day, I'm gonna let him see this simmering chili so he can drool over it. Pretty sure I just took that photo. Stop taking it, talk to the neighbor. Oh, I was wondering more what you're whooping. It's hot outside. Ah, there we go. I came back in, it's much cooler. Yeah. That's whoop. 
That it is. Gotcha. Did you hear my mom? Okay, I think I can turn this off. Yeah, so far I like this thing. Like I said, a little louder than I was hoping for, but... It does say stir this occasionally, so I'm gonna use that opportunity to scrape the sides a little bit, because I definitely see some of that stuff kind of... Did you charge this for using it? No, they just, they came kind of, both batteries came half charged. Okay. I'm trying to get your hand. Top button. I know. Oh yeah. I, Sorry. I know what power button looks like, sweetie. Well, there's two buttons on it, so I didn't know. Sorry, I'm just trying to be helpful. Yeah, that has a bit of oomph to it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it would be great at the Jamboree. And then if we can take them into River Bend, it might be nice. Does it have a way of like, I guess it doesn't really have a lanyard option where you can just kind of like hang it like that. Well, I did stick it in my shirt. Um, let me show you. And I'll show them too. You can push the buttons in and it can come off like this and you can power it via USB or alternate USB. Mm -hmm. You can actually use this as a- Battery backup. Yeah, battery backup. Let me hear, let me do this so I can. Battery back, you can charge your phone off it or charge this from certain phones. I got this thing that came with two of them. Got your battery indicator. I'm sure you could rig a lanyard system. Okay, why am I doing wrong? You probably need to push the upside button. Upside down. I had it upside down. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it does kind of have these hooks back here. So, I mean, you could probably rig it onto something because it also came with a metal stand. Ah. Like one of these kind of dealies. Okay. So, you know. Interesting. And there's like a billion brands that are all slightly different. So, I don't know. I may look for reviews about noise or something on the others and see what we get. Mm. That smells really good. <laughs> huh. Hi. Gross grown up stuff's happening off screen. <laughs> We're gonna ignore it. I'm gonna warm up this stuff coming. Um. Yeah, this is like, so, oh, yeah, I should go tonight. <laughs> It's just rain in the morning. Well, we have to do at least one hour of the game because that's for tomorrow. Okay. And I definitely want to at least get one of Stranger Things. I guess I can put off. Do I have, what, what, what do I have going on tomorrow evening? Well, we can do more of the game tomorrow or we can do nothing except Taco Truck. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, like, okay, sweetie, what am I doing tomorrow? <laughs> well, we're still trying to catch up from the weekend where the, the, the cookout kind of took, caught everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> Coup I know. Coupled with how much stuff came out we're trying to watch, you know what I'm saying? Yay. And then, you know, Orville and the boys start this weekend. Those are weekly though, right? I don't know. I honestly don't know about the boys or the Orville, because the Orville's on a new thing now, so. That's on Hulu. Yeah. I think Hulu drops their stuff weekly. Probably. Yeah, because Murder's in the Building. Right, right, right. Okay, cool. When is that one? July. I knew that was coming up soon, too, so. Just a little stir around here. Texas, like, do you want to say what you have around the column? <laughs> Like, okay, guess not. <laughs> yeah, Itty Bit is not really in a play mood. She's been in a chill out mood. Yeah. And then she's in attack mood when they try to play. Yeah, I was uh, checking out my plants outside. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to uh, whittle down the uh, uh, flea beetle population on the potato plant. Those are all words. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, they were on the, the potato plant is more or less where the uh, eggplant was last year, and they had, and my eggplant had a flea beetle problem last year, and that's why the potato's having the problem now because it's in the same spot. Um, which is why you rotate your crops. Yeah, that's why you rotate your crops. I'm just being silly. Of course, the potato was a volunteer. I didn't plan to put it there. It just happened. There's motion at our front door. That hat dude has not come by. I was prepared to mess with him today. We got some guy in the neighborhood trying to, won't leave us alone trying to sell stuff. We just keep ignoring him. He's not getting the hit. So I've decided instead of just being a jerk and yelling at him, I'm gonna just start messing with him with funny voices. <laughs> oh. 
Away, you must go. Mm. I don't know. Your mother smells of elderberries, and I fall in your general direction. I know that's not exactly how the line goes, but cut me some slack. I'm having fun with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a feeling this is not going to take the full 30 minutes, but it's probably going to take the next 10 to really cook in and simmer through. Uh, I guess I'll grab some hot dog ingredients. You're better. Make the others while that's happening. I really want to do the chili dog first. Oh, that's right, all the hot dog ones. Back in the laundry. Okay. Speaking of laundry. Uh, I'll make a decision. I have we have two brioche hot dog buns left, and then I got the usual sunny buns. I discovered a plain hot dog on the brioche buns. Not that good. The brioche overpowers it. But the brioche is great on other things. Okay, so let me get some. Weenies. Got some weenies left over. And I might want jalapeno. For one of them. Some diced onion. Guess I should get the mustard back out. I think, yeah, because I was going to maybe dice up some red onion, but eh. Uh, so what's my, what am I doing? Okay, I got to remember what I'm doing. Okay, I know what I'm looking for. We're just, we'll use this batch. These, and you get some cream cheese and caramelized onions and chives. That'll be for a brioche, yeah, okay. I've got chili, onions, and mustard. Gonna do this. I normally do cheese on there too, but I'm not gonna do that today. I really wanna, I want the chili to be the star. And we're gonna do a, sort of a Mexican take on one too. So I want my, Avocado crema, pickle red. I don't know if I'm going to use the pickled red onions. These are both from Danny Trejo recipes. Avocado crema, pickled red onions. I don't know if I'll use the pickled red onions because I'm going to use some of Lote. And I will want cookie. Lote downstairs. Yeah, I, know. I don't need it right this second, but I will need it at some point. <laughs> All right, so got some pre crumbled cojita cheese, my diced whites, sliced jalapenos. Uh, this is uh, made of, where is the damn camera? Two avocados, uh, two ripe medium avocados, uh, about half a cup of sour cream, about a quarter cup of cilantro, and juice of a lime, blended creamy smooth, and it's freaking delicious. I don't remember the recipe for this, but it's like apple cider vinegar and sugar, and uh, that may be about it, and a whole red onion. I'm sure there's one other ingredient in there, but I can't remember what. Caramelized onions I do in oil, you can do them in butter. Then I hit with some balsamic at the end. We're gonna just reheat that. Cream cheese, diced chives, and we got yellow mustard for the coney. I need to give this puppy a stir. Oh yeah, oh crap. Actually, it's kind of a, uh... hold on. That's not good. That's really not good. Shit. Let me, uh... fuck. Get with a splash of water. Mm. Actually, I'm not going to scrape the pan because I don't want to get too much burnt in here. Actually, over here, it does look more, a little more like a, we caught it just in time. But I would actually say this is pretty much done at this point. Maybe I should have actually had the heat a little bit lower. I'm going to go ahead and take the heat off, actually. Well, you know, you live, you learn. Try to deglaze the pan while it's warm. It's the uh, sugar, mostly, I think. The tomato sauce. This was the side that's a little off the heat, so, okay. All right, I think we did catch it, like, just in time. But that looks like some pretty lovely Coney Madness. All right. All right. Just gonna set that to the side. 
And since my dad may want to come get some, I tell him no delivery though. <laughs> Alright, I mean, me a plate. Ooh, what color plate? I also want to do this pretty in the holder. So what color holder is going to this look nice in? perhaps. And let me get a uh, plate to heat up my hot dogs. Again, you know, it'd be a little better if they were fresh off the grill, but they're fine. They've been grilled. A minute in the hot, in the, in the whatchamacallit is fine. <laughs> All right, let's pop those in. Warming them up. Uh... Yeah, that chili happened a lot faster than it was supposed to. Does look really good though. All right, so we're gonna use that for a chili dog. Use this for a caramelized onion dog maybe. Maybe that should be the chili dog. No, that's right, I'm doing the caramelized onion in this one, so is that the Mexican dog? Science! I heard her all the way in there. All right. So we got three dogs here. I need a little bowl for melting some cream cheese. Where are you? I'm gonna tear off a chunk of it. Science happens! There it comes, dogs are. Warm, Maybe about 15 seconds on that cream cheese. That might even be too much. Uh, you're picking the worst time to do this to me right now. I'm in panic mode. I mean, don't stop. <laughs> Mary might have been doing something naughty. Good, I'm gonna heat up those caramelized onions for about 19 seconds. This bun. This warm cream. If you've never done warm cream cheese in a hot dog, you are missing out. This is part of the Seattle style. Just took the bottom of my bun, doesn't crap out on me. And yes, anything goes on a hot dog if you like it and think it tastes good. Stop food shaming, people. It's not funny. <laughs> All right, let me get a, where are my wieners? <laughs> That's what she said. Let me get a wiener in that one. Oh, come, on. come on, don't panic so bad that I screw this up. All right. through that container, we get a little fork happening here. Oh fuck, I need that a little bit. Shit. I don't have for help at this point. I didn't I didn't tell her I needed it, but so it's on me. But unfortunately I think one of the cats is in there with her. No, come on, I can't make you pretty if you're slopping everywhere. Which means she's gonna take longer. This is also great with like sauteed onions and uh, like white onion and jalapeno. Or sweet onion, actually, and jalapeno. All right, I'm gonna call that there. Get some chives on there. Hmm, yeah, these are about done for. I was about to toss them earlier today, and I'm like, I think they, I can get a little bit life out of them still. Uh, I need that elote, if you don't mind. That, sorry, the chili happened way faster than I was expecting. Any of it is burned under the peppers and Jackie's going like, oh, what's this? Ah. Uh, okay. 
so there's that one. Now, uh, yes, it's the only thing I need right now. Yes, thank you. Um, so now I want to do the Mexican one. So what am I putting in the Mexican one? I don't really want to put cheese in there because we're going to have to put pita. I think it's just going to be, okay, so I just want to put a dog in there right now. And then we're going to put some elote. Uh, hit it with the crema and cover it in sauce. So now we can make the classic. We can get some yellow mustard under the bun. Yes, yeah, right thank you so much. Classic chili dog here. I like a very mustardy chili dog, so I put some under the bun. The weenie in the bun. What are you, a child? No, I'm just <laughs> And, okay, let's uh, get a little of this uh, hot dog chili out. May have to use my finger since I am trying to do this in a way to make it look pretty for y'all. Oh, shoot. Just a little touch more here in the center. Do you need anything mm. else? Uh, yeah, just a second. For a kind of a taste test moment. All right, so, but we're almost done. We're al I'm almost to it. Just gotta build one more dog. So this is, let me bring the camera over, fuck. This is my elote off of the cob. It's uh, charred corn, and then like a mix of uh, Mexican crema, and uh, cilantro, and lime juice and lime zest and uh, some cojita cheese. I really like it. It's basically what you would get as street corn except it's not on the cob and... So is there anything under that hot dog? No, not on that one. And then I want to hit that. The little extra crumbly cojita. Not too much, so I want to get it on the other dogs. Oh, yeah, you get, you get tired of my room? And we'll get it with the crema, but I also want to put some chopped onion on the chili dog. A diced onion. Come on, now. come on. Not a lot. Oh yeah, just bear with me, I'm also trying to get food style here. <laughs> okay, let me uh, dab a little up just to make sure it's going. Okay, got to squeeze real good. All right. Oh my God, this is gonna, this is gonna look beautiful. Dab a little out. Ooh. Oh my god, look at how gorgeous this plate is. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, I'm gonna switch to a better camera. Oh man, we almost had an accident. This I forgot this thing slides, I almost dropped it all. Look at that. Tell me that's not a gorgeous hot dog trio right there. Three very different, like it's like a French dog, a Mexican dog, and an American dog, but uh, now I gotta figure out an Italian dog. Look at that. So I guess what I'm looking for is some kind of thumbnail where you can really focus on these, but then I'm maybe Kilroying over it. But you know, kind of straight, but also top down. So you can see the dogs, but really see the toppings. Get, get lower. Get lower. <laughs> get low, low, low. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I know this is good. I've had this before, the French dog. Mm -hmm. I've not really had this. I've had elote on one. Haven't tried it with the crema. But we gotta try this, because this is what we're all about today, is this chili that we have made. So I'm even gonna, I'm just gonna play this safe, so I don't drip onto each hot dog. And actually, let me grab a photo, real quick. Because oh. this is just one of the most pretty plates I've ever done. Inception. shot right there to adjust some lighting and stuff but... oh boy. all right so let's see how well this chili turned out 
Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Now, is this a spicy chili? No, it's a basic hot dog chili. Um, you are welcome to have some on one unit if you want one on a dog. Instead of having a bite of mine. Because <laughs> okay. also, you probably don't like as much mustard as I do. Yeah, that would be a safe bet. Mmm. 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 Well, mmm. Well, it's clearly not going to take me too long to scarf this one. I then want to try the other one. <laughs> well, mm. <laughs> you don't normally have three at once. No, not unless they're a little more plain. But I thought this would make the video a little more exciting to, um, you know, give some people some ideas. Mm. Mm. Just the onion? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, man. oh man, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I, I like this hot dog chili a lot. I would make it again. I'm trying to figure out what I might do different though. I, I, I don't know. It could go a little wetter. You don't want it too soupy or you'll just end up soaking your bun. Right. But it's pretty good. For me, I might put a little more chili powder. But again, it's working really well in the dog. It doesn't need anything. It's good. I need to taste it on its own. Mm. Yeah, I might try a little on its own before I put one on the mm -hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. Mm. There is some chili powder in it, but... I'm not really getting much heat out of it at all. Okay, well, I'm gonna get some water. Oh, <laughs> like your dad? Uh-huh. I, I was showing him the chili being made. And he's like, oh, did you make enough to share? And I was like, yeah, but there's no delivery. And he says, bummer, because he's smoking a stogie so he can't come inside here. He said, However, could you be so kind as to lend me a container with some inside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do that. Mm. That was an awesome hot dog, though. All right, no, I'm like, I guess I should do the tasting spoon, not the serving spoon. Because <laughs> I do need to get a taste of it without everything. Mm. Mm, I really like that. Did you like to try? Yeah, your dad answered that. I saw. Let's do a spoon. Mm. It is a little spicier on its own. Oh, there you go. I'm getting the heat on the back end. Yeah. Um, actually, that's pretty good. Is How there brown sugar in there? No. There's a little white sugar. I would maybe try some brown sugar. I can see that. That's a good call. No. Yeah. And I might do some fresh onion instead of onion powder. I was telling him in the video I didn't notice in time that was a that was an option. So I used onion powder because that was what I was prepared for. Alright, let me get let me get a little water and I'm gonna try this uh, lote dog. Now this elote dog, I think it would be even better if you actually had a chorizo link. And I think it'd be dope if you grilled it up in a uh, piece of bacon. It's so like a bacon wrapped chorizo link. Look, I have sprouts. <clears throat> sprouts! All right, this one may be a little bit trickier to eat. Let's go from this way. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So. I thought it was a power, but I think that was a big truck drove in front of the sun, so all the reflections all flickered like the power because the lights aren't even on. Actually, I may have been playing. Mm. Well, that'd be weird. Okay. Would you like to try this? Uh, sure. Yeah, I think you might like it. Uh, come over here. Um. 
No, it, well, you, we can go that way if you want. Uh, like, like, it's shorter this way is all I was thinking. And then I can probably get you a shot while you... It takes a second for the stuff to kind of mush together, but... Not, these aren't really her flavor profiles, so so I, that's a, I will take that. It's oh yeah, I, I did the same thing. <laughs> Hello. Uh, mm -hmm. Talking about planes and stuff, I was I can't remember if it was yesterday or like maybe last Friday. I was coming up for sales or coming back for sales road to get home, mm -hmm. and as I was getting close to the airport. I guess uh, the, there was a big enough field that there was a, a big jet plane coming in, but it looked like it was coming in like right at the top of the hill. Mm. I was like, it, it, it came in in such a way that you're going like, where's the explosion? <laughs> well, you thought it went down, damn. It, oh, echo, cancel timer. I mean, it, it's just the, the perspective of everything is that's kind of how it looked. Mm. You've got green on your lip. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm just a mess. I literally just snot bubble too. Oh. Let's make sure I don't accidentally lick the snot bubble off my nose. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Throw this away. Well, mm. made it this far. Might as well enjoy the other dog. Mm. In just a moment. That is that is really good. It would be better with chorizo, for sure. Mm -hmm. But I like that combo, that avocado crema with the um, elote. And yeah, again, Trejo's Tacos recipe. Fantastic. Incredibly easy to make. Um, I used the Nutribullet to get it really smooth instead of a normal food processor. Ah. And I know this is good, but... So this is caramel, caramelized cream, onions? Brioche bun, cream cheese, caramelized onions, and chives. Uh, so sort of your French onion soup. That stands onions. <laughs> mm. Mm. Have you had it like this? I think you did it with Gruyere. I think, I know I've had one with... Cream cheese. Cream cheese before. I'm not sure if I've had that particular combination. Honestly, you've not had this because uh, that brioche is making a bit of a difference in a very good way. Would you like to? Sure. <laughs> Are you even going to need your own hot dog when we're done? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I know. I'm just... getting that balsamic you love from the onions and all that too so now if you're doing something like that maybe a uh, saute in some uh, onions and uh, some mushrooms yeah yeah I could see that as well too mm. yeah man that cream cheese so, that was a game changer for me now there's something like a Sontaran a Sernotan a Sorten a Santaran dog? You need to try that. I'm not exactly sure what it is. If you got other hot dog concoctions and recipes, tell me. And if you want to put ketchup on your hot dog, you go the fuck ahead and you do it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. That was going to be the fourth hot dog. The, there's a big debate in the mutant fam sparked by Darcy loving ketchup on hot dogs and Joe Bob saying it's a sin. I want to hear how they react to my standard hot dog. Well, oh. Huh. My standard hot dog hmm. is uh, Miracle Whip on the bun and then some uh, chopped onions and some sweet relish on top. Ew! Disgusting! I'm not married. No, of course <laughs> It doesn't sound great to me, but I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really knock it. And again, hot dog, pizza, tacos, sandwich, burgers, they're all just delivery method 
for great combinations of toppings. I mean, certainly the meat and the dog and all that matters. And these, in case you're wondering, are Hebrew National. Find they to be the best flavor of what we've tried. Well, best flavor for topped hot dogs. If you want just a straight up hot dog, I do love a Nathan's. <laughs> but Nathan's has such a potent, distinct flavor that once you start putting stuff on them, it doesn't work as well for me, outside of maybe basic mustard onion combo. Yeah, so a lot of times I'll have plain mustard onion. Sometimes I'll have mustard onion sweet relish. Sometimes I will have mustard ketchup relish onions. It's good. What do you want to do? Yeah, I like the Costco hot dogs, except I don't know if you can get the, the, the chopped onions anymore. Mm, yeah, that's a problem. Because they, they don't have them out like with the rest of the condiments anymore. Yeah. And I, I was looking at their, because you order at a kiosk now, and then they'll make your order and call you up. So you don't really get to interact with the person? Right. Mm. <sighs> okay, that was awesome. All right, 718. I gotta make Mary some chili dogs. We'll be back. Yoink. Luke. I am your. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, stay, stay back there, stay back there. Let's do the famous shot from, back up a little bit with me. This is probably really loud, I should turn this off. Let's do the famous shot from Tenebra. What is this clue on the ear that you're going? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're, you're psycho behind me. I don't know you're behind me. So you just stand and look like you're going to get me, but it's like, no, don't, don't, don't. Your ears are poking out. No, no, no. No, go ahead and stand up straight. You don't have to hunker down. Like, I'll get the angle. There it is. Okay, so then I'll be like, what is this clue on the floor? Reveal, and then you're like, ah, I kill you with X. <laughs> All right, anyway, thank you. I bet that's really cool. Um, awesome Argento film. So first up, we're gonna talk briefly about the wedding. There's actually been some movement. Uh, first, the easy part, as you may have heard, um, the Sheets document, the Google Sheets, Mary turned me on to, shareable and all that. I actually have not had a chance to look at this because I've been busy AF today. Yeah, so, but I'm just gonna give you an idea. I'm not gonna show y'all, but I mean, I'm gonna, uh, so like, I mean, it has like, like, uh, it has this uh, guide for the sections you have. You have to do, Coordination, schedule, budget, details, guests, invitations, seating, gifts, venue, hotel, attire, hair and makeup, flowers, cake, caterer, photo, video, entertainment, music, like all these different sections, man. Yeah. Okay. And then like uh, the guest section probably has more stuff in it than we need. Uh, and this is just their template is what we used. Mm -hmm. So you have our like first name, last name, address, mm -hmm. email, invited by, save the date, invitation, response, how many attending, children, invited, going, dietary restrictions, table number, gift description, thank you sent, notes, like, that's pretty dope. That is a lot. And it also needs to be on a fucking desk because that's too much for a phone. You can see what I'm saying is I'm like, I'm just scrambling all over the place. I was putting things in wrong columns with the five people I've already put in there. Um, I'm very warm, but it's fine. Good job marrying me. <laughs> Good job on that ass. Uh, um, <clears throat> um, <laughs> you, you treat it very well. Talking about me. I'm an asshole. <laughs> uh, so a little bit more we can tell you is where we did have the cookout. Uh, one of the guests that came. I'm having fun. Okay, I need to stop having fun and distracting myself. Um, one of the guests that came is a buddy of our Tom. He used to be our, our primary uh, karaoke DJ, the guy we liked the most. Like We became friend friends with him. Him, his wife, and their kid came over. We'll talk about kids. That was weird uh, <laughs> thing, but um, they had a good time, and he, we wanted him to be our karaoke DJ. But we asked him early, you know, once we had the date locked mm -hmm. in, and you know, he, he was already booked. Uh, so that was sad. Yeah. So we one of the things we've been we need we know is priority to get to because you have to book it so far out, even though we're like three months and change from the wedding. Oh fuck! Really? Shit. Mm hmm. Yeah. Damn it. No, that's why. I, now that I, all my I other guess shit. I need to look at dresses. <laughs> Yeah, now that all my other shit is done, it's like, uh, it's becoming my prime focus. Um, even though I really want to work on some music, but um, I can do both. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay. you'll see, you uh, hold my beer. Uh, <laughs> um, but anyways, the cool thing is, since he doesn't need all his gear because the job he's doing has nothing to do with it, he's actually gonna hook us up with all the gear, which will hook into the place we're at, gear easily. And then uh, he's really good friends with Kathy Hobbs, you know, from uh, Drunken Movie Night and such. And um, so she, he's teaching her kind of how to be his proxy and kind of run karaoke for us, even though, did you actually ask her about being your bridesmaid? I Have you figured really that out? To. So we'll figure that out. We'll make yeah. it work. We'll I think I, only one of my bridesmaids know that they're a bridesmaid right now. 
And we could easily set up a, uh, like a, uh, yeah, all my groomsmen know. I just wonder how many remember since one of them was invited to the party and said they couldn't show up. One of them was invited to the party, gave us a maybe, and then never came or said anything. And then one of them was invited to the party and never responded. Uh, but that's on me. I'm going to set up some play dates with my boys. Uh, Mike was here, though. The groom, the, the, uh, grooms made men of armor, honor. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a title for him since he's split on both of us. But that's really cool. So we kind of have entertainment figured out now. So we have a venue, mm -hmm. we have a date, we have an officiant, we have a groom party, one part of a bridal party. <laughs> we have um, uh, catering is getting figured out. They, they just hit, they got their own, they got swamped with their own wedding season and all these other parties. So they are, mm -hmm. they are working on trying to help us figure it out. And um, we have a dessert person, although we got to make the plans on that. And uh, now we have entertainment. So as long as we can, I think the only other uh, big, big concern time-wise is going to be like a videographer and stuff. Uh, yeah, so, but, definitely. but I've got, I've got, I've got ideas and plans for some of that, especially since luckily I'm in the filmmaking world. I, I got options if, if we need to. <laughs> um, and then trying to figure out how to live stream and all that. So we'll figure all that out. But there you go. There was an actual legitimate wedding update with legitimate things to say. Aaron? Look at this tall boy, tall Aaron? boy. In. Yeah, well, he starts climbing up on things like that. We call it tall boy. Yeah, and I, he, he's starting to get up on the counters. He's starting to pull Jack. He'll get down way quicker. Like, he's like, he knows when he's caught. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Professor. Professor Fussy Bottoms. I love this guy. He's adorable. Totes adorbs. All right, so uh, we'll talk about the, uh, whatchamacallit, the cookout. So the cookout was really fun. It was stressful as fuck. Cause like, Mary did a shit ton of cleaning. I did a tiny bit of cleaning. Did you just do a, a bowl? Well, it's not very light, but yeah, you can see like we have actually. There's like, floors are clean. Yeah. A ton of stuff on the table or the, the counter was cleaner. Well, they saw it before I dirtied it up. Okay. You know, like, well, I was cooking. Oh down. yeah, I took a bunch of stuff down, and obviously some of this is still a work in progress because Mary wants to get some more statues up and starting to fill in. You put a few of my cookbooks up, but a lot more to go. And um, yeah, so she basically cleaned like the entire damn house. So that was really cool, and I spent like two, two and a half days cooking my ass off. Um, you know, and even like the, her recipes, I just, I made them all, but you know, obviously had her taste tests and everything. Uh, and it went over really well. We got some really good compliments, both of us on a lot of the food. Um, and again, I socialized last time we did this, cause part of what we wanted with this house was it's a party house. We want to entertain people. We want to throw dinner parties and stuff. And you know, we got this house at the beginning of the pandemic. So we haven't really been able to do that. And it's been nice doing it so far. And last year I made the mistake of still cooking like a dozen things while everybody was here. So I barely got to socialize unless they hung out in the kitchen. Uh, this time was different. I had everything pre-made. The only thing we had to cook that day was uh, Mary, uh, you know, she's the grill master uh, yeah. because she's very good at it. Also because she's better at cleaning it, not lazy about that. Um, <laughs> but still very good at it. And, um, and I was basically like helping people and putting all the food out and giving people the information and really got to entertain. I, I made a huge batch of margaritas that went over well. Even people that don't normally like margarita mixes, like that's a pretty good mix, the Mr. T, Mr. and Mrs. T's. And then, cause I throw some Cointreau in there. And uh, so that was really fun. We drank plenty of margaritas and had a good time. Some friends that have not hung out over here yet hung out over here. Uh, that was a really fun time. Her parents, of course, my dad, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of stuff like that. So, uh, you know, some of her it, family. It was, yeah, it was interesting because there's various friend circles that kind of eyeing each other going, like, <laughs> Yeah, we had to certainly blend some friend circles, but it worked. I think everybody got all, along yeah. really, really well. And we had three dollars. Yeah, but that was the weird part because people kept being like, can we bring kids? And we're like, See, this is what's weird about us. At this point, the cats are our kids. I, 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 especially in the world we're living in, I don't think we're doing kids. Yeah. Plus, this is why we're so young and happy and youthful. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not I know a lot of y'all out there have kids and are very happy and love it, but- um, I've seen many a coworker age night once they had the little ones. Yeah, and I mean, to each their own, we're not knocking, we just, we, we make our jokes. You can make jokes in reverse, of course, but uh, not our thing, but, some people kept asking and we're like, we don't know. It's like, we're gonna cuss a lot. And I thought we'd be playing Cards Against Humanity, which we never did. And they're like, like I've got like horror posters upstairs with like shredded bloody nipples on them and stuff. And 
Okay, I'm overselling that, but you've seen the posters up there, like the Evil Dead thing with the Ted Raimi hitting Rietta and the titty mm -hmm. hanging out and the zombie flesh, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. We're like, we got all these loose toys. We don't know, are they gonna be supervised? And it's like, there's like colorful alcoholic drinks out. There's like, you know. So, uh, but there was a few toddlers and for the most part, they were really well behaved and everything. Yeah. Although, man, they made a mess on glass. Like my arm's getting tired. Smushy glass, which you mostly got, but I noticed some of it the other day. Oh. is like, uh, but you know, cause sunlight, not knocking and just pointing out while I'm thinking about it. You could clean it. Jack, please get up. I don't know how to clean windows. Not a, that is bullshit. I'm not as good at it as you are. <laughs> you redeem my cleaning service. Yeah, we need to go back to talking about that. Um, okay. Yeah, please get off my records, but. But, um, so that was, that was really good. Say hi, everybody, Jack. <gasps> hi. He's a cute boy. Aww. Yeah, he's the Jack Jack. His eyes are getting a little bit better. We're, we're still working on it. Uh, yeah, and I got to socialize a lot. I wanted to socialize more. We got to give mm -hmm. some cool tours. Lots of talk about how beautiful Your the house is. busy outside clean, uh, cooking, and they're going, you need to eat. <laughs> Which is funny because that happened because I was in here and everybody else, I was letting everybody else eat first and everybody else was telling me, Eric, you should probably eat something. And I was like, you're right, I probably should. And then I thought, you know what? I bet Mary hasn't eaten either and she's been more active. Let me make her eat first. So I went outside and said, Mary, you need to eat. Just stop right now, we'll do whatever. You need to go ahead and eat. She's like, yeah, I probably should. That was after my first margarita. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, they're not like the over the top potent, but they're potent margaritas. Uh, my uh, recipe for that, by the way, I use the Mr. And Mrs. T's margarita mix. Honestly, I'm trying to get rid of it because now I can make real margaritas. Uh, but it's basically one part booze to two parts margarita mix. And then the booze part is three parts silver tequila to one part Cointreau. So, so basically a single would be one and a half ounces of silver tequila with half an ounce of Cointreau and then four ounces of the mix. So give that a try. It's the easiest way to make it. Now let's start showing you food and talking about that. Hold on. So we have a little bit of it upstairs and the fridge of course is still very full of stuff. One of our friends turns out I had no idea she was a heat head so she was very excited about the hala I mean the habanero slices and you know Fresno jalapenos and other jalapenos and we had like beans and cilantro or, uh, cilantro and like uh, sauerkraut and this kind of onions and pickled onions and every kind of condiment. There were like five mustards we had out for people. Uh, Serranos. As a matter of fact, can you uh, either either you need to open some things for me when I do this, or hold the key. let me do the camera part. So this is my beer cheese. Actually, it looks pretty good in there. It dried out a little bit that day. Then that night I, or yesterday, I noticed like the water beer was separating. Gave it a nice mix, and now again it has a nice uh, smoother, creamier texture. White cheddar, Oktoberfest, delicious. Uh, I got some. I got a few good compliments. This is Mary's feta dip. People rave about this. It's like Miracle Whip and cream cheese and feta and dill and oregano and some garlic. And it is fan freaking tastic. We had diced onions, sliced onions, stripped onions, lettuce. <laughs> caramelized. Uh, caramelized onions, yeah, yeah. And I was willing to saute onions for people, but nobody asked me to. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, and I had like diced jalapeno, sliced jalapeno. <laughs> we had dill pickle, bread and butter pickles, spicy pickles. Uh, you know, we like we told people like we have anything. If you can imagine it, we probably have it. Um, so that's just the upstairs. So we should show them the really good stuff downstairs. You know, we have lettuce, the whole deal, hot dogs, hamburgers. A lot of people brought a bunch of desserts. Might as well just we didn't do any desserts. These are all desserts people brought. Yeah. What is that? That is here. And there's a cake. That is, that was Kathy Jones's uh, chocolate cake. Mm, yeah, I gotta try some of that. And uh, Mom made uh, chocolate cookie batter cookies with uh, cherries. Ooh, and then Kathy Hobbs brought a Missy's pie coconut pie, which was delicious. Was it Missy's or was it one of hers? No, it was Missy's. Oh, you okay. Mi you, you missed that part. I think you're heating I, up the grill. I probably, I, I was also <laughs> downstairs for a good because I was hand drawing oh. for you. Well, not just for me. You were doing some of your own stuff too. We everything well, was behind, know. lady. Not just you, me too. People like the Joneses showed up right at three and I was still scrambling for half an hour to get everything going. And that's when I learned about because they gave me one of these fans or they had to use one of those fans and is a better one than mm -hmm. that. But I bought those. This is one of the things Mary was hand washing. So we put the margaritas in this. We could just come get it. 
other than condensation from all the ice, it was great. Didn't use the second one because I had a pink lemonade recipe and then I was panicking for 30 minutes trying to figure out where it is and I eventually gave up, which was fine, nobody wanted it. Two day, two and a half days later, I'm in the grocery and I realized I couldn't remember it because it's on this Smirnoff red, white, and blue stuff and the whole point of finding that recipe was we wanted to get rid of that red, white, and blue stuff. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, now we're strawberries good. Strawberries in here? Yeah, they probably, yeah. That was what they were for, and then did, are they are they sprouting well, or something? They're not sprouting, but the container's bulging. Yeah, it did that to me too, which is why I initially opened it. Um, well, the thing is, there's apparently been a hepatitis outbreak. Well, throw them away, it's trash them. Throw them away. Throw them away. Was one of the places selling them? Throw them away. Whether or not it was our Kroger's or something else entirely, but I, I'm kind of feeling safe, better safe than yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm with you. And sorry I forgot to show you all the dishes. All right, I'm let's- I'm also vaccinated against the- Salmonella? Hepatitis. Oh, hepatitis. <laughs> it's yeah, a, it's a peanut was, butter. There was a, a, a hepatitis outbreak in a lot of restaurants. Well, also, there's the peanut butter. Oh, 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 that's right. You're going to tell a story. Hi. Hepatitis, not salmonella. No, salmonella, I'm thinking because of the peanut butter we yes. call. That's why. All right. Let's do this. So, we have the elote, some mayo, some crema. We talked about this. Six, eight, eight corns of chard. Uh, so it's half a cup of mayo, half a cup of uh, uh, Mexican crema, quarter cup of cilantro, about a teaspoon maybe of lime zest and the juice of a lime. I think that's all, and some cojita cheese. Uh, usually it's on the cob, but that's fine. You already kind of know about that because of the whatchamacallit. Here is a vinegar-based slaw. I got the recipe out of... Well, we had extra corn in case we were gonna make some. I thought we were gonna do some, we did. I'll, I'll come up with something with that. We'll use it soon. Uh, so this is like a vinegar slaw, like apple cider vinegar, super fine sugar, little olive, or vegetable oil, excuse me. Uh, some salt and pepper. And then we did it with like a slaw bag, you know, a bag of slaw. And then you go back and hit it with a little more salt and pepper, some green onions and some parsley. It's quite tasty. I was trying to make kind of a vegan option. And our vegan friends didn't show up or didn't eat vegan. It's a holiday. And then I remembered, oh, some people have gluten, so I had to, I didn't have anything gluten-free. This is this amazing pasta salad I put together. Gluten-free? Yeah, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking okay. just like uh, rose and no buns, and I was like, ah, oh, I didn't think about gluten. Uh, pound of macaroni, a uh, thing of petite tomatoes, a uh, bunch of uh, torn up ba- uh, uh, spinach, mm-hmm. some fresh basil, uh, pepperoncini, pepperoncini, how you say it, um, green olives, uh, roasted red peppers, diced up, chunked mozzarella, Parmesan cheese. I did like a random amount of red wine vinegar, a little extra virgin olive oil, some basil, some oregano. Kind of let that all work together. And uh, apparently it's delightful. These all got really good compliments. I still think maybe Mary's, Fe- Mary's Feta Dip got the most compliments. Uh, this also got a lot of compliments. This is Mary's Summer Salsa. We make this every year. And so there's like black beans, pinto beans, diced tomatoes, uh, Mexicorn, uh, cilantro, green onion, uh, salt, lime juice, garlic. Uh, I think that's all that's in there. Yeah. Now I want to say, I had some of this at lunch today. Uh huh. Oh, chili powder? Yeah. Uh, I went with chipotle chili powder this time. The beans are kind of al dente. Okay, that's fair. I think it's the pinto, right? The black. Or I, th- kind I of thought they both were. All right. Well, I'm still learning. So, point being, Mary used to make every all of this with completely canned ingredients until I came along. That was my compromise. Was I made fresh beans, and she's right on that. I probably could have run them a little longer, and I get fresh cilantro and fresh garlic, yeah. and uh, and then I season it up, and it takes a little more salt because you don't get all the salt content from the beans. So, but we had all of that on display. We had lettuce, and I mean, we had a. Uh, celery and carrots and crackers to dip stuff in. We still had my left, they had, they brought a potato salad so we didn't bring out my leftover potato salad. Um, yeah, no, there was plenty of food obviously, but a lot of the food got eaten. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. And like I said, we got a lot of good compliments. I think that person bring like 10 bags of chips. Yeah, we bought a bunch of chips, but I got a really good deal on chips, so woo! All right, well that is that. So Mary and I are gonna work on taking out the trash. Then we're gonna watch uh, Stranger Things episode three, review that, shoot the cocktail video, and probably feed the cats and let Mary go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we need to get on that, so I'll be back. 
Wait, Mary had something she wanted All right, to do. So for my fellow cat mamas and cat daddies, if you don't know about these, it's, these are pill pockets from Greenies. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. But most of my, the only one of my cats that doesn't like these is Itty Bit. I, I got like four different flavors and she's like, no. <laughs> but Jack here has had to have a lot of pills lately because we've been trying to cure his eye thing. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what, what's going on. One of the things we give him is a, to get the, the best that we can give him half a Zyrtec or Citrazine, Citerazine, which this is just the generic stuff, which is a hell of a lot cheaper. Like you can get your supply at Costco for like 18 bucks. Okay. Uh, so <sighs> yeah, oh, look at this. Look, He's so it? sad. He's so sad. Just because it's a special occasion here. Yeah. Jack, let your brother have it. No, don't, don't like it. Just take it. <laughs> you were getting like five a day for a while. You need to relax. You need to calm down. Don't make me call Taylor Swift, Jack. Now, we had to put things up on this upper shelf because when I forget to lock the door. When you frequently <clears throat> forget to. <clears throat> uh. He would pull down like and eat the entire bag of pill pockets. He would rip it open and eat it. Yeah. He may have had some help, but <laughs> Yeah, I think Aaron's more guilty of some of that than we think he is, honestly. But uh Yeah, for a while we had if we hadn't heard if we oh, if the cats hadn't been upstairs in like an hour or something, it's like we may need to go make sure we locked everything up. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Can I get a high five? Yeah, Aaron. He's a cute boy. High five. Want a high? Nope. He, he doesn't want to, he's camera shy. Napoleon. Hi, Clark. Hi, Clark. Hi, Clark. No, he's like, I got a snack. Can I give you a high five? Can I give you a sniff? Jack's like, I'll give you a high ting. Hi, ya. I'll give you a hi, ya. All right. Yeah, you can even like look down here. Like, everything's like still pretty well organized. Yeah, her mom came and did that. And then, like, we didn't even play pool. I mean, people were excited. But by the time everybody came down here for a tour, we didn't, we didn't do anything. <laughs> I think okay. we would have to have a party explicitly saying, hey, this is going to be the activity. That's the idea with my upcoming sausage party and other parties like that. Yeah. It's a thing. Okay. All right, so we're going to do this cocktail. It's getting late, but we're trying to hurry. There it is right there. That is the picture of it. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously, first things first, we do need to strain our syrup. I was supposed to strain, oh, finish it four or five hours. I was supposed to strain it at nine. It's, it's basically midnight, so we got an extra three hours of infusion, so it should be pretty, pretty good. So we're gonna, you may wanna come over here. Uh, we're gonna just put it in a fresh jar, right. basically. So let's see, let me move this in case, it, in case I miss. We got a little strainer here we're gonna work with. Probably set down in the sink, so if it spills, it'll be easier. Uh, fine. That is a wise thing. I'm trying to get me a semi-dry spot to do this. Sorry, everybody. It's late. We're I'm trying to hustle for Mary's sake. No, see, I need to be up here because I, I can't control it down there. Is the problem. I mean, maybe once we get to a certain spot. You know, the liquid's still kind of coming out. I have not actually splattered outside of the jar. So as long as I can do that. And I see like a tiny fleck of, I'm gonna try and save this ginger actually. Actually, let's just put it back into the jar. Woman, you are, I love you. We don't know if this ginger is good or not, but I mean, it might be, it might be a nice little snack. Okay, whatever I save of it anyways. You know, like maybe I just slice it up and we got some like variation on pickled ginger is what I'm thinking. All right, let me wipe this down a little bit and there you go, we should have our very own. How does it smell? Oh, oh, that smells good. Hold on, I want your face. Because I know you love the ginger. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to have a lot more of this than we actually need. Fuck, I, I feel like I would just drink that. Okay, now I'm going to go back in because I do got to squeeze this line out. Hi, buddies. 
I know what y'all are thinking. <clears throat> You're gonna have to wait. Just a second, kids. Excuse Daddy's me. trying to. Excuse me. Daddy's Excuse trying me. to hurry. All right, so we need some lime juice. I've already kind of done the. Are you showing? You know. I'm showing your face. Show what I'm doing. I'm doing a thing. We're already kind of pre-loosening the juice up inside of that thing. I'm just doing it on a paper towel. I hope that'll be okay. And I'm gonna use my little juicer because I definitely extract more and then it's easier for me to measure. So we should juice this lime real quick. And then I might be having something else to drink later with a lime because I'm probably gonna have a little more than I need. And I'm pretty thorough. Usually I guess, usually I don't show you all me juice in the lime. Usually I'm just like, I've already done it. I've already wheezed the juice. Squeeze the excess. And after this, it's all just measuring and mixing. Actually, how do I mix this? I just realized I need to look at that before I, I, I no, I'm good, I, I'll figure it out. Just take me a second. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, squeezy, squeezy. Get as much juice out of it as I can in case I do want to make something else. All right, get this out of the way, I'll clean it up a bit. Okay, <clears throat> before I start mixing this, combine lime juice, orange juice, syrup, carousel, tequila, and water in a shaker. Give it a few good shakes to, they don't even tell you to put ice in the shaker. It's not a, it's not a well, -written, well written recipe because if you've never made something like, all recipes should even include the basic details, y'all. I gotta be honest. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay, so. So I guess if it just needed to be mixed, it wouldn't call for a shaker. Right, it specifically says shaker, so we're gonna do that. All right, so we need a half ounce of lime juice. Get that in here. And I know, I'm no pro bartender, you all know this, I'm, I'm figuring this out. I'm gonna slop that in there. Oh good, coffee grounds. One or two, it's, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I got a lot of lime juice left. I can certainly make me a little something after, or maybe I'll make one of these. Have an, okay, two ounces of orange juice. Minute eight, pulp free, baby. The way it's gotta be. Had it sitting out a little bit, so it's got a mighty sweaty. Look at this, the freshest orange juice you can get. <laughs> Unless you make it. <laughs> All right, you gotta be careful not to burp, burp, burp. All right, here we go. Boom, whoops, that's fine, still two ounces. Blah, blah, blah. And then what do we got next? An ounce of the syrup. All right, I'm gonna kinda I think I should just use a spoon. Yeah, I'd say so. Because I didn't really, you know. know. This will be less messy doing it this way. Yeah, mason's jars aren't the best for pouring, per se. Yeah, I did, like I said, I don't really have jars that are great for this. Oh, this is gonna take a second. How much? An ounce. Be that bad. No, we're almost there. We're a little over half an ounce now. She uses like a tiny layer. <laughs> well, I'm all for buying more kitchen gear. There we go. Tempted to lick the spoon. Would you like to lick the spoon? <laughs> sure. Oh, crap. Hang on, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Camera malfunction is dripping. You might want to put a hand. It's a cup of sugar, a cup of water, and then the ginger and the rosemary. It's pretty good. Sweet. Exactly. I mean, is it like, so would you drink it? I don't know if I drink I'm it. I'm not asking you to, I just, okay. Anyways, ounce of the uh, Dagobah slug syrup, half a teaspoon. Okay, half a. Half a teaspoon of what? Half a teaspoon of blue carousel. Oh, just for, it, it's just for, to get a little bit of color. I know, but it's just like weird. It's like everything else is in ounces and and then I panicked and I'm like, did I fucking put the wrong measurements in? Half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon is Half what you say. TSP, right? TSP, baby. Sorry, I would have had this prepared also too. Because this is only tablespoons or ounces. So we got our blue carousel we work with. Orange flavor liqueur with a 
a blue coloring. There's the handles. I gotta be careful not to over pour this because it needs so little. There we go. Just about perfect. This will stain your finger, by the way, for like a day. It's <laughs> weird. Happened to me. After the blue carousel, two ounces of tequila. Now we're talking. We're almost there, everybody. We have the 1800 silver, it's a, especially for mixed drinks. It's a very perfectly fine. And this just says tequila. It doesn't actually say what type of tequila. So I'm gonna assume it's a Blanco. Um, yeah, moment of, it's, well, it actually says silver on the back. Well, Blanco and silver are the same yeah. thing. White, silver, it's... Well, you said it doesn't say what it is, but... No, actually, I mean, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, too. sweetie. The recipe okay. doesn't say what kind of tequila is what I was suggesting. <clears throat> An ounce of water. Actually, uh, I'm gonna wait and say something until after uh, this is said and done. See what kind of color we end up with. Okay, I think I kind of know where you're going. The ounce of water is the weird part. The rosemary is for garnish. So let's get some ice in this puppy. Excuse me, boys. Daddy knows. Daddy knows. It's almost time. Uh, and as we learned the other week. Oh, I thought you were actually showing the drinking. We don't want to put too much ice in here. So, so far we've got four cubes, seven cubes, and one cube. I mean, I wasn't saying you had to specifically come in a close up mode, but it's like, Mary, this is the drink segment. I know the cats are adorable, but they could think oh, I just swapped it out for something pre made because Disney pays me all the time. Oh, shit, don't put that on camera. <laughs> all right, we give that a good shake. How you doing? I don't care. Pay your fucking tab and get out of here. I'm walking here. I don't know what I'm doing. A little bit more. We don't care. We don't want to water it down too bad. All right, <clears throat> tall glass with a few ice cubes. We got a tall glass. Let's put five ice cubes in here. It says a few, but who knows? Now let's start. Let's start with four. Let's make sure. I don't know how many. I didn't. Consider how much liquid might actually be. I haven't done the math. All right. <clears throat> and we pour. Ooh, that is a pretty color. I could definitely put more ice in here. Mm. All right, let's put a couple more ice cubes. I'm not gonna fill it all the way, but I feel like it needs a little bit more. And we're gonna put that rosemary in there. But what do you think? If that's kind of greenish, we should probably go red. And you know? Sure. Clash of the sabers. <laughs> a little bit. And rosemary sprig. Okay, now that I've seen it, um, I wanted to say what I was thinking earlier is that you might actually, if you're trying to get that color, assuming that that is color correct. Uh, That's pretty close. Well, they have no, a sunlight. No. I don't. Um, yours is a little more on the bluer side. Um, Tiny bit. A, a regular tequila, a, a, you know, that sort of yellowish tint. A respada. A respada? Respada? Uh, anyways. It, that with the blue curacao may have given you a more greenish tint. Reposado. Yes, but to be fair, they did not tell me. I know they so didn't tell me. I don't you. know. All right. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm just trying to Boom. explain. A Dagobah Slug Slinger. No idea if it's any good or not. Let me get a nice photo of it. Preferably without a whole bunch of junk behind it. Because even though my hot dog photo was amazing, there was a whole bunch of junk behind it. And, Uh, we'll figure that one second. We'll figure that out. Let me get this shot. All right, there is my shot. Couple versions. Oh, oh they're playing with the chair. Okay. Get out of my shot. Whatever. I got shots in it. All right. Shot, shot, shots. Okay. 
May the fall. <clears throat> Let me do it like the uh, Obi Wan game. May the force be with you. I'm Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Sounds like paper, but they shouldn't have. Maybe there's probably a crinkle ball. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Smells good. I'm also smelling the rosemary. Mmm. Yo. Oh, yo, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> It's a subtle drink, but it's pretty fucking good. There's sweet, there's that little bit of tart, a little bit of herbiness, and then sweet and tart, like, but never gets too sweet. Doesn't taste too alcoholy. Oh, man. Yeah, Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna like this. Also, that may be color wise, some of it may also, it's a combination of sunlight, and they probably have more ice and let it melt down a little bit. A bit. I was just say. No, yeah. you're right to point it out. But it might be worth a shot. That's really good. Again, Mary and I have very different tastes in alcohols, but every once in a while. I could drink this. Right? It's pretty tasty. Yeah. And as it melds a little bit together, it tastes even better. It's sort of a high-end mule, really. Yeah, but with a little more orange instead of ginger beer. Yeah. Well, I mean, the ginger syrup is... Like a not uncarbonated ginger beer, almost. Yeah, but you don't get nearly as much of the ginger from that syrup as you do from what That's you put true. in a mule. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, but I see what you're saying. I mean, flavor profiles are some similarities. Yeah. All right, well, there you go. That is the cocktailing hour. I got a few more segments, but we got to feed these kitties and let Mary go to bed. I'll see you in a second. Right. Whew, it's 1 12 a.m. Stranger Things is cool, but we're talking about that on the $1.99 paid side of things along with Star Wars. Um, Mary's just like, good night. It'll be a few minutes before she goes to bed. Still finishing this drink. It's really good. Uh, it's subtle compared to a lot of these cocktails I've made, but it's very good. Sorry, I forgot to show you dishes. I still gotta finish taking out the trash. I have to process these last couple clips starting from here from whatever else is left in the vlog. And I gotta edit the whole vlog. Uh, I was re-uploading. Okay, it's still going. Uh, my uh, Throwdown Thursday, the Battletoads episode one. Like, it failed the process. I, that's weird. I'm hoping it's just a random YouTube glitch. Shortly after I had trouble uploading, had to do it a few times. Seems to be going good now. <sighs> gaming, let's do gaming. Mary and I played Battletoads the game today. That was very fun. I haven't done a lot of gaming because Star Wars Obi-Wan for Xbox finishing that up stressed me out. Made me dislike, not dislike, but turned me off to gaming for a minute. And then I broke a lot of my streaks on rewards. Like before the weekend, I missed it finally as I was starting to stress about the weekend. I had like a 125 or 128 day streak on the uh, rewards app and I blew that. Uh, I'm starting to care a little less, but maybe I'm kind of getting back into it. And then I had a 20 something, like 25 week streak or whatever on the rewards weekly thing, which is like an extra thousand points every, or 2000 points or something every 10 weeks. It's really nice. So I'm starting that all over, but we'll get there. I'm just about hit 50,000 points in less than two months, so I can't complain. 91,000 points, I get $100 in the Xbox store. Hard to complain about that. All right. I didn't really play a lot. I've also broken my streaks in the WWE game. <laughs> Haven't bought any of like, the last three card packs, although I am still enjoying that game, and I still have only done my faction mode. I will have more time and excitement for that. Uh, Evil Dead game I got on launch. I haven't touched it but I'm starting to feel like I'm about to start having time again. Because again, even all the way past the weekend, uh, Tuesday, I thought I was gonna be playing that Star Wars game longer than I was, but then finished it, or I guess I did that Monday. And uh, so now we are officially in the land of not having daily trailers, not having daily games, although I think I have a plan about that, and we will do things that are not major trailers as well, but just give me some time, let me get there. So really, I haven't done a lot of gaming, but I think I'm about ready. Um, I think in the next few days, I'm gonna start diving into some stuff again. And I gotta figure out what my June game's gonna be like. What's the big release for June? Also, I know like I just talked about their big, dumb, fun Michael Bay movies, but I'm kind of in the mood to get into one of the Call of Duties I haven't done, because the last two or three I haven't done. Ever since, uh... <sighs> ah, crap, I don't remember. It was like maybe two ago. It was before Black Ops 3, I wanna say, or right after. Like, I feel like 84 was in the title or something. I don't know. Anyways, I kind of enjoy those and some of the early ones I never played, but I'll get to that. I'll worry about that when the time comes. 
Um, ordered my Star Wars Force Unleashed Limited Run Games Edition. Excited about that. They have a few others I really need to look into too, because I haven't been buying them like I used to. And I gotta keep my eyes on super rare games. I haven't bought, but again, money's not the same as it once was, especially with the wedding and all of that stuff. So, you know, I can't just willy nilly buy every collector's edition anymore. I really save my money for the things I want to spend them all. It was a really fun run there where I could just buy whatever whenever. And I'm not at all complaining, trust me. That was a fun point of my life, but I'm having way more happiness uh, doing things for me and Mary and going to things and all of that. So um, so I'm totally fine with it. I mean, sure, every once in a while I was like, oh, I really wanted to buy that thing. But then I'm like, yeah, did I really though? Did I really? Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so I don't know what I'm looking forward to in June and July. I know there's some games coming up at some point that I'm really excited for. Theoretically, God of War 2. I'd like to get back on my Switch and play some of those Mario Land, Land uh, Mario Kart levels they've added. I haven't since I haven't since they did the expansion stuff with that, and some other stuff like that too. So we'll get back there, and uh, I got some other fun stuff there. But I'm trying to think. I feel like there was something else about gaming I really wanted to tell you about, but I guess that's it. I think I'm out of it right now. Still, I, I was playing games all the time, but y'all have pretty much seen everything I've been playing, so I haven't really done a lot of gameplay behind scenes just for my own enjoyment but um i will oh i will play games so that's kind of where i'm at right now so if you got anything that just came out or what's like the big stuff like maybe you'll trigger me to remember like oh yeah 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 that like i know god of war 2 god of war 2 um is apparently coming out at some point this year that'll be amazing I still have some games 100% like Miles Morales. Still haven't played the PS5 version of Spider-Man. I mean, there's things I want to just play, and but I'm always going to be like, but should I play them for the channel? That's going to be the next habit to break. I mean, some of them I've definitely promised to the channel, even though I'd rather just play them for myself, but um, we'll see what happens. And you know what? Maybe I'll, get in, maybe I'll finally do Code Veronica for myself since I've never played Resident Evil Code Veronica. That'd be cool. All right, that's my thoughts on games. Uh, I'm running out of time. Let's just let's just do a wrap up. All right, fun story. But as we start the wrap up, is YouTube? Are you new to being a YouTuber? Are you new to making YouTube movies? Let me give you a huge piece of advice. I'm not saying I'm super successful, but this is going to save you a lot of stress. Your friends are your friends. They aren't required to be your fans. Maybe as you're just starting out, they'll be there to help you out. But don't. You should have no expectations of your friends following what you do. Uh, on any kind of social media. Um, if they want to, great. If they don't, don't, because you don't want people just to follow you and then not engage with your content. This is this is the, the one negative I had with going viral. Um, a lot of that happened to me. I have way more subscribers than my content ever shows, which is, it is what it is. I'm sure it hurt me in the algorithm in some way. And a lot of those people, it's because they want to support me. But then they, you know, they were, don't watch. And, Fine. I'm not, I don't care. You know, again, I'm not really doing this part for, for that. Anyways, the point of that being, I already forgot the point. If you're new to YouTube, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, that was a fun story. I should have told about the party. I actually had one of my friends show up and, um, talk about my videos and like in ways that I'm like, Oh no, you really do watch. You, you know what you're talking about. You're referencing things. And of course they got the house tour. So they were kind of thrilled about like, oh, this is weird. Like I'm in here, I watch your videos and this is this is what I see you do. So that was kind of fun. Um, I'm happy with what we cooked today. I'm happy with the drinks. Put whatever the hell you want on your burgers, on your hot dogs, on your tacos, on your pizzas. As a matter of fact, now that I've done my own hot dog chili sauce, it's time to take another crack at that hot dog uh, pizza, that chili dog pizza. Cause this sauce might work way better than what I was thinking. Plus I really want to make that Arabiata thing I did for my dad. I guess I didn't tell you about that. I was trying to make a hot sauce and um, with like a tomato can of uh, tomatoes and a bunch of peppers that were going about to die, you know? So I was like, let me throw these jalapenos and serranos in here. They've turned into Fresnos and red serranos, uh, like tomatoes, red wine, oregano, uh, basil, you know, uh, garlic, you know, <laughs> half a red onion. I was just throwing all that stuff in there. And it did not turn, in, and it charred a little, and it charred a little bit, but it did not turn into a sauce, but it turned into a amazing pasta sauce. So I hooked my dad up with that a little fresh parm, some spaghetti, uh, a little Coppola Syrah. Um, and it was amazing. And even dad's raving about it. And again, my dad very much when he likes something, he will tell you, but he'll also always be very honest with you about it. And this is one of those where I've really knocked it out of the park. 
and like it's as spicy as we'd want it to be, but oh my God, I want to replicate it. And I want to do it for y'all. And it would also be a really good pizza sauce. So we're going to play with that. The only thing Ar typical Arabiata has mine didn't is some olive oil. But you know what? I saved some calories <laughs> and you did not miss it. <laughs> um, so anyways, that was really cool. So it's just been a really good week. It's been a busy week, a busy weekend. But there was, I got to do just amazing cooking just for fun, mostly stress-free. We got to have an amazing party with friends where I actually spent time socializing instead of like doing things. Um, then we had a great cooking today. We've been watching Obi-Wan, uh, you know, uh, freaking Stranger Things, so much new stuff coming. I'm over my daily games and stuff. So everything feels great right now. And then hopefully I, I'm making some kind of something special that's going to be exclusive mostly to the Joe Bob Jamboree. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that out there. Maybe that way I have to do it. I, there's a lot more I want to do than I may be able to do. But even in that, I have variations and backup plans about, I could put this thing, I could put a version of this thing together in a couple of days, no problem. But <clears throat> in the next four to five weeks, I'm gonna see how much extra, extra I can do. While also working on the other things I'm supposed to work on. And I'm ready to make like a three to five minute short film. Maybe 10 the materials right but that'll be more like we'll find it and prep it at the end of this year and get into shooting it early next year this year i've got to finish an album and do some other stuff so that's really the plan i love that i'm getting to be back to actually creating stuff instead of like i said only talking about other people's creations gotta figure out when mary and i are gonna get to see top gun we canceled it for that last dessert italian dinner which was mind-blowing we didn't get to tell you about that oh I wish, you told, I wish I told you about that. Uh, Italian night number three of five. This night, you know how Mary is like, that's pretty good. Is a really strong compliment? No, there was a dish she had there that she was like, mm -hmm. she made Eric noises. It was a fresh pasta ravioli, giant ravioli with smoked ricotta and figs and some other stuff and like a butter sauce. It was amazing. But Mary was a huge fan, understandably. So that was a great night. We had all that. Um, I guess I should have talked about this real quick. I'm, I'm cramming a lot of stuff in this wrap up. Uh, we had Peruvian food for the first time the other day. I meant to talk about that. I wish I'd done that with Mary. Uh, we went to actually go get pizza and the place we're at, the pizza kitchen was broken. So they couldn't make pizza. We're like, ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, we came for pizza. Sorry, we're gonna go. And um, we're like, well, what's here? Don't want to take Mary to Mexican, even though I would always eat it. And it was Ramsey's. And I'm like, Ramsey's is fine, but it's like just a grease pit of fried food. Um, it's good for that. It's great for that. Uh, but it wasn't in the mood for that. And then, um, Mary looked over and realized, oh, Maddie's Peruvian cuisine. It's like, oh, I've been wanting to go there. Are y'all, y'all game for going there? And we went there. It was so good. Very simple foods, very subtle foods. And it was amazing though. Like these like fried fish and seafood with like the yuca, like the, like the most amazing steak fries you could ever have sort of thing. And this like red onion salad. Oh my God, it was amazing. I had a, um, a pisco sour. That was incredible with the cinnamon on there and the egg white, mm, the limey, the lime citrusy drink. And then we ordered the pesto pasta dish. I forget what it's actually called. It's like pesto pasta with like beef tips and like stewed red onions and peppers. And it was so good. They kind of screwed up though. And they tried to bring us out the wrong one. And they're like, we will remake it if you want, but did you just want to go with this? And it was like a struggle for me because I felt so bad. I'm like, you know, if it is anything else that you, you changed, I'd be in, but the pesto pasta is what really sold us. So we had to make it again for us. And, you know, I felt really bad. They were really cool about it, but I felt kind of bad about it. But, um, but that was like the thing, like the one ingredient you missed out. It's like, mm. incredible dish. We're definitely going back for that. Incredible. Mary had this ceviche with like some shrimp and like sweet potatoes and um, um, Peruvian corn, which is like kind of a starchier, uh, thicker corn. And then they took like, I forget where it was from. It was from a very special place, some uh, popcorn kernels and like toasted them. And they were kind of corn nut like, but it was so good. Anyways, Peruvian food is awesome. And I want to play with that in the future. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. I don't think I have much more. Ooh, hush puppies. I gotta learn hush puppies for Mary. And risotto and scallops. All right. I'm gonna shut up and make myself hungry. Thank you, everybody. I love y'all. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Comment below, suggestions, thoughts. What? How was your parties? All that kind of stuff, if you did them. Let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. Love to hear what you have to say. 
Click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. Check out my music anywhere you listen to music. Eric Butts, Spotify, whatever. Uh, Apple Music right here. 90 style pop punk not for everybody some of you will love it more coming very excited about that and film stuff check out ericbutts.com very out of date website lots of other stuff there check the links for more content and ways to support the channel click that see more button to see more butts now i'm gonna get out of here so i can finish editing this stuff get the trash out and a whole bunch more and it's already almost 1 30 so i need to shut up and i'll see you all later